I'm going to tell you a little bedtime story. How would you like that? Bedtime! The fella you ran into was coming to kill me. Sir. Is he dead? No, he's having a fucking nap. Yes, he's dead. What's in the bag? I'm guessing you fellas aren't you used to being in the hot water you find yourselves in currently. Is that correct? One deal. It's way too big for you. Trust me. Oh, sorry, Mr. Pablo Escobar. Welcome to Sligo. I figure you got a corpse in the back of your car and you're looking to skip town quick, am I right? I should probably let you know up front that I'm partial to my adventure. You're saying it's priests that are after us. These guns aren't gonna shoot themselves. Amen. Amen. Deadly gangster priest, yeah? The Lord will have his vengeance. You best not see your little fellas when we get out. It's a dangerous path you're taking here, boys. One minute, you're laughing, smiling, all easy breezy, like in BANG! Stop what you're doing! Take your gun out of Father Nabby's mouth. This is a church. I didn't know they had Catholics in Afghanistan. She's got a plan. I know it. You think it involves us? Don't you worry about that. Betsy, what's going on? Should we go see the big scary drug dealer now? Yeah. I got Harry, Ron and Hermione looking at me. I'll have to call you back. Bye-bye. This is a street value of just under one million euro. Who told you that? I googled it. Did that not sound kind of stupid in your head? It does come in out of your mouth. These sorts of adventures are always more enjoyable with a positive attitude. Oh, you got a sense of humor. I like that. She is quite something. That she is. I think we might be in a little deep here. I think we're absolutely... Pixie! Whatever you choose, however many roads you travel, you find some way to break the rules, make a little trouble out there. There's no two people I'd rather be with travelling down the coast with a boatload of MDMA and a rotten corpse than the two of you. Ugh, oh, beautifully put, Frank. I give up. <laughs>